The one thing I do not like to necessarily do in practice is dial it in too much. Especially when I'm on a jerkbait bite, I'm looking to give myself those options when I'm out there on the water. For me, having multiple different colors of jerkbait on the deck ready to roll is, is really important and it helps my efficiency when I'm out there trying to dial it in in the actual tournament. So for instance, like right here, I have four jerk baits lined up. These are all Mavericks, these are my favorite jerk baits. And so each jerk bait has its own deal. So this guy right here has a little bit of chartreuse on him. He's a little bit more gaudy. So if the fish are following my jerk bait too much, I might be picking up him. Now, more of your opaque color, your white, like a snowstorm, to me is gonna be like a deal of early morning or a cloud comes overhead. It might be a 10 minute you know, or 30 minute scenario where you know, a couple clouds come over, it gets cloudy for a second and the fish can't see your bait real well, I might pick this guy up. A matte shatter or translucent color is definitely one that I throw a lot, especially when the fish are pressured or when it's black, calm and it's sunny outside. You can't let the fish get a too good a look at your bait and that's when you want it to be more translucent and more transparent and that is exactly what that matte shatter does. And then last but not least is having something flashy. This shirt bait right here has a lot of flash to it, but he still has a little transparency to him. And, and this is when I'm gonna, when I'm thinking about throwing him is like a lot of times there's a little bit of wind and then there's sun because that sun really will help that flash and those fish come from a longer distance away to come get that bait. And it's crazy, like today might be, you know, it might be mad shad. The next day it might be snowstorm. You know, the next hour it might be, you know, this one right here. That's what's really fun about bass fishing. Is things are always changing, and but you have to adjust with them. And that's part of the reason why I like dialing it in more in the tournament than I actually do in practice, because they're always gonna be changing on you.